Hey guys, this RC car has got one of the most interesting setups that I've seen in a long time. And have you seen the body already? Stay tuned! So guys, in today's video we've got a very interesting car to look at, and let me tell you why. Well, this car has got an outrunner brushless motor instead of a normal brushless motor, and this ESC looks very interesting. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find a very interesting car, we've got the transmitter, some instructions, stickers, we've got a 2S1500 milliamp lithium ion battery, a charger, some tools, some different pinion gears and we've got a magic key. And this key is used for unlocking the high speed lightning fast, not suitable for children's speed, so that's very interesting. So let's have a closer look at the transmitter first. This is the transmitter and it runs on 4 AA's which you need to supply of your own. So it's not capable of running steering, it's quite big but it feels very sturdy. So this transmitter has got a couple of tricks up its sleeve. So now it's for the right hand steerers and now it's for the left hand steerers and I think that's very interesting. So I wish that they have made this design into a little bit of a smaller packaging but it is what it is. So this is your on off switch, we've got the steering trim, the steering dual rate. This is for the distribution of your throttle stick, so now it's on 73. 30, but when you put it up, uh, upwards then it's on 50-50 so I'm not sure about that and this is the magic key. So when you pull away this little sticker then you can add the keys inside there and then you can unlock the high speed lightning fast and that's what we are going to use of course. So the green is the normal speed and the red is the high speed turbo racing not suitable for children so yeah let's see what the speeds are. So yeah let's have a closer look at the car now but first I will put all the stickers on there and then then I will come back to you. And here is the car guys, what do you think of the appearance? Well appearance wise, I really do like this car, this thing really looks awesome. But only the stickers you know, the stickers aren't really my thing and the quality of the stickers, yeah they feel a bit cheapish in my opinion, but it is what it is. So in the front of the car you'll find some front bumper sitting right over there, we've got some stickers over here, but when you remove the stickers we've got some clear lenses behind there, so if you would like to do so you can fit some LEDs afterwards. So inside the car you'll find two driver figures sitting right over there, we've got some gauges over there we've got a steering wheel a roll cage you know they have added a lot of small details and i really like that so when you look at the rear of the car you've got full proper spare tires and that's always a good thing we've got some lysing plating we've got some mud guards right over there and this is actually a battery tray so when you remove the body clip then you can lift this part up and then you can slide in your battery so it doesn't fit a hard case but it does fit a soft case battery and we are going to speed run it on the standard 2s battery but we're also going to throw in a 3S life battery because it's 3S capable and of course we need to test that. Underneath the car almost everything is made of plastic, but for me that really doesn't matter, because I like plastic, and let me tell you why, because if you crash into something, you know, normally plastic flexes a little bit before it breaks, and if you got some metal or aluminium part that can easily snap off or bend, you know, so therefore I really like plastic. So we've got hex hardware throughout in this car, we've got some ball bearings inside there, and I'm not sure if we got fully metal gears inside there, but we, we do have some for sure, because I can hear that. So in the rear of the car you'll find a solid rear axle right over there, we've got a metal drive shaft, we've got an anti-roll bar sitting right over there, and one thing what is really disappointing are the shocks. So these are simple friction shocks and I really don't like that. So I paid around 170 bucks for this car and I really expected to have it oil shocks but it doesn't. So maybe we can fill them ourselves but we have to find out in a bit. So in the front of the car we've got some independent suspension right over there and the drive shafts are partially plastic 
plastic and partially metal. I'm not sure if you can see that, guys. But that's maybe a bit of a strange combination. But it is what it is. So, yeah, let me remove the body. But before I can remove the body, I have to undo some screws. Because the body is screwed onto the chassis. And therefore, it feels very, very sturdy. So, let me get the body off. In order to properly show you all the electronics, I also had to remove the roll cage. And underneath there, you will find all the magic. Just look at this guys, this is the first setup that I have seen like this inside the Besher car and I think it's very interesting. So this is the outrunner motor, and this is the first Besher car that I have seen with an outrunner motor. And just look at this ESC guys, this is an all metal gazed ESC, but I'm not sure about all the specifications. So I'm not sure about the amps or the KV about the motor, so if I find it I will put it in the screen right now. So this is a separate receiver box, this is your 3 lead uh, servo, so the servo plug is a little bit different but I think that you can do some upgrades if you would like to do so. And it's got a servo saver already mounted on there. And just look at the suspension in the front guys, this looks very very interesting. So yeah, let me throw in a battery and show you when it's on. The car's powered on and here's the steering servo, so we've got plenty of speed and power wise, well we even got some power inside there and that's very surprising because normally with cheaper RC cars you know the steering servo lacks of power but this one has got plenty of power so thumbs up for that. So already I put it onto the high speed mode so this is full throttle. Yeah, that's not very impressive, but this is like the standard 2S battery, but you can also run it on a 3S battery. So for now there's only one thing left to do, and that's take it outside for a spin. So guys, the first thing that we're going to do is to see how fast this little car is. So we have put in the standard 2S LiPo battery, and we're going to see how fast this LiPo is. So here we go. So guys, we hit the 25 kilometers per hour, which is a bit slow in my opinion. So on the box they advertise it with 55, so 25 is just too slow. But let's throw in a 3 years battery and see how fast it is then. Well, it's much more lively now, do you see that? Here we go. So guys, with the 3S battery we hit the 51 km an hour, which is much better than the standard battery, which gave us only 25 km an hour. So this car really deserves a 3S battery. So the tires are very grippy and I rolled it over already a couple of times, but it doesn't matter. So for now, let's take it off road and see what happens. So guys, I've been driving this car around for a couple of minutes now, and I must say I am pretty impressed by it. So I first thought that the Outrunner motor was a bad choice of the company, but yeah, until now I had plenty of power and it even does some wheelie sometimes, not all the time, but for me that's all fine, you know. It's not too bad, and the tires are grippy enough, and yeah, overall this package, I'm pretty surprised by it. I didn't expect to, uh, yeah, to do uh, yeah, so well like it's doing. So yeah, I think it is a pretty good car so far. Oh yeah, and the sharks are doing also a very good job, so these aren't oil filled, but somehow, yeah, they do a pretty good job. Do you see that? It's got, yeah, it's not too bouncy at all, it's just all fine. Oh, into the bushes. I was looking at the camera. So here we go again. Whoa, nice jump. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised by this car. Yeah, I didn't, totally didn't expect this. So the steering servo has got plenty of power as well, the motor has got plenty of power as well. I tumbled it around like a million of times already and it's still in one piece without any problems. Only one mudguard has gone, has been flying away, but yeah, that's the only problem so far. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed by this car so far. 
So guys, I was just filming about how good this car is because this car really surprised me and especially with the outrunner motor and this servo, it has got plenty of power. So this package is pretty nice until my drive shaft broke. So for now, I can't continue filming, but I will just show you some driving footage and then I will come back to you with my final thoughts about this car. <laughs> So guys that was the driving with this car and what do I think of it? Well appearance wise I really do like this car only the stickers aren't really my thing and the quality of the stickers isn't really there but it is what it is. So performance wise well this car really surprised me so the outrunner motor performed pretty well it had decent power so the top speed isn't very much very high it was only 40 km an hour on the 3S battery so the standard 2S battery is just too poor you know we hit only the 25 km an hour and yeah it's just yeah this is just rubbish you know if you buy this car i really suggest to add a 3s lab lipo battery to this because then this car really drives amazing so yeah the servo is pretty good we had plenty of power you know the tires uh, are very grippy so that's all fine the only negative thing to say about this car are the shocks so these shocks aren't oil filled and yeah but still it was not too bouncy i had some other cars which just bounces around all the time but this car did a pretty good job so the shocks are mm, okay-ish let's uh, yeah put it that way so another negative thing is the drive shaft so it broke on me already and therefore i couldn't continue filming but it is what it is you know now i have to order some parts and oh one of the mud guards just snapped off like this so that's maybe another negative point but besides the drive shaft the shocks and this little thing you know this car is pretty pretty nice and it really surprised me so for the money i think that this is a pretty good car Alright guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.